Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and I'm going to talk about something a bit different today. It's about Piers Morgan. Oh, just in case you're passing through for the first time, welcome to, um, thank you for visiting my channel. If you like what I talk about, please subscribe, share, like, all that kind of stuff. And my existing subscribers, of course, as usual, I appreciate your support, your comments and um, your loyalty. Um, basically, Piers Morgan, honestly, he does my head in anyway. Sometimes I think that he only says what a lot of us are thinking, but we're too politically correct to say anything. And he's finally overstepped the mark because he's talked about gender. What I don't understand is why is it always a gender issue, something to do with gender, transgender, homosexuality, that destroys people's careers look how long he's been bashing people being rude being insensitive being arrogant and everybody's put up with it everybody's kind of took it on the chin that is Piers Morgan he's cutting edge this is the new this is the new way to interview and he's got 6.8 million viewers I mean followers on Twitter so he's been doing something right but mentioning the gender being honest about gender, he cannot do that. That is a no zone. And that's where I think this is wrong. Either he's a good presenter and he speaks his mind and he talks as he wants to on any subject whatsoever. If he demoralizes people, if he's condescending, if he's patronizing, if he's narcissistic, he is consistently so regardless who, he spe who he's speaking to. Jeremy Clarkson gave him a knock on the chin, or on his head, apparently, for exposing his information on, um, exposing his private life. Look at the way he kind of denigrated Rosie in Love Island, saying that she was stupid to go on Love Island when she had a law degree. You know what I mean? And he's kind of insulted so many people, and he's got away with it. So why is it now, because he's identified with a penguin and associated it with gender, oh, he's got to be kicked off of Good Morning Britain. All of a sudden, all his, all his human frailties and his um, flaws are coming to the surface. Why? What is it so powerful about the gender issue that destroys people's careers? I don't get it. Is still a part of public opinion. People should still be able to talk about it without being concerned or worried how they phrase it. It's about for the other person to explain, clarify, tell the individual, look, that is not appropriate to say that. This is incorrect. That is insensitive. That is demoralizing. You're denigrating me by saying that. I don't agree with your point of view. I don't agree with your attitude. I find your behavior offensive. You have that kind of debate, but you don't go away and then say, oh, you know, you're going to get him off of the air because of what he said about a gender issue and disregard everything he said about everything else. I mean, he had to go at Ariana Grande because he was saying that she didn't go and visit all the people that were bombed, you know, that were victims of the bombing. And yet when she put on a show for them, a free show, he had to take it back. He's always put in his foot in his mouth. That is who he is. He's quite an obnoxious person at times, but that's why he's got so many followers, I think. I think he represents the, um, the inner part of a lot of Brits, the part of Brits that who are afraid to speak out. Because remember, Brits do have the stiff upper lip, Brits do um, try to be polite, and he goes against that. He, he, I really believe he says what the majority of Brits are thinking, but are scared to say it. Or no, it's inappropriate to say it, but because of his position, he gets away with it. So has he overstepped the mark by talking about gender? It sh like I said, he should be treated consistently al across the board. He shouldn't be allowed to be open and frank and rude about one thing or to one gender and then be, um, uh, what you call it, reprimanded or nearly losing his job because 
he's talked about something as sensitive as gender. Why is gender so sensitive? Why? Why can it not be open for open debate and discussion? Why are people not allowed to say what they feel about the subject? You know, we should all, we all have our thoughts, we all have our theories, we've all been brought up in certain ways, in different lifestyles, in different cultures. We should be allowed to air our views on it. But, oh, it's taboo, you cannot. Anyway, we'll have to see um, what's happening. Of course, um, Piers Morgan is standing up for himself. He's saying it's um, almost like animal cruelty if they get him off the show, you know, him and his sense of humour, which isn't very humorous. But, hey, that's Piers Morgan for you. So, I'd like your thoughts. Bye-bye.